In this video, I want to talk about one huge habit that's holding back your realism or holding back your progress when it comes to realistic drawing. Hi, my name is Jeffrey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I do hyper-realistic drawings or photorealistic drawings, however you want to call it. And I make tutorials sometimes and I give advice sometimes like this video. So if this is something you like, um, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and I hope you guys stick around. So one huge habit that I've noticed people do which holds back the realism of the drawing is not going dark enough i've seen so many artists wonder why their drawings um, are not looking as realistic as they want it and one common thing i've seen in most of their drawings is they either don't go dark enough or they don't go light enough but most often it's the dark enough that's the problem now i know this because i experienced that winter myself when i was drawing years ago and i figured it out by comparing my references to my drawings and that's how i realized how much difference there is when it comes to tonal values in between the drawing and the references and that was one big thing that was holding my realism back so what happens is when whenever we are shading right because we've already done the sketch and we are started shading there's so much white of the paper around the shading and whenever there's so much white around you shading or anything it tricks the brain and you actually think you're going dark or you've gone dark um, as dark as you should in reality you haven't because the whites around the shading contra gives a contrast and, and tricks your brain to think that you've actually gone darker than it is if that makes sense and then when you're done shading all the other areas of the drawing and there's little to no white on the paper that's when you realize oh shoot my drawing looks washed out and you, you wonder like what went wrong you think you're bad at drawing you know so to make it simple there's a couple of things you should do to fix it and the first thing i recommend is comparing your drawings your references side by side now if you can i recommend you printing out the image or the section which you are shading that's the reference print out that section um, of the reference and then put it by your drawing side by side when you're shading and that will give you a better representation of how dark you should go or how light you should go the reason why I, the reason why i say you should print is because sometimes if you're using the tablet or your mobile phone or even the PC monitor or something um, because of the brightness reflections of the glass all these things sometimes they might trick you or mislead you from how dark or how light something should go but if you print it because it's on the paper as well once it's next to your paper you actually have a good understanding of how dark you should go or how light you should go and the second thing I recommend you to do is use better tools and material if you're a charcoal artist like me and you just use charcoal most of your drawings then I recommend use brands like general charcoal which is what i use i'm not sponsored by them i just like general charcoal a lot and when it comes to the powder that i use to shade the charcoal powder which is what i use to shade most of the time it's actually jacka charcoal you see all the um, names in the description of the video i'm not sponsored by any of these people but i just like them and i'm not saying these are the best but that's what works for me so you guys can experiment there's so many other brands there like Faber castell there's derwent derwent so many others that I'm probably not mentioning it right so just keep experimenting keep experimenting with your charcoal and this goes for graphite artists as well not just charcoal artists use try different brands of graphite try different brands of paper as well you know because so, sometimes the papers can react differently to the pencils that we use and all the brushes or whatever you're using and for me so when it comes to the jacquard charcoal for example because it's a gray charcoal set it doesn't have a black you know, a black gray um, a black version so it's only from white to dark gray so when i need to go darker than that gray version what i do is i grab a black 6b compressed charcoal from generals and then i make powder from that one as well and then i use that as my black and then even sometimes i go over with the black a darker version of a charcoal pencil like um conte paris um, pnr pencil which is really dark i go over that over the powder and then i go over the pencil again with the powder and the brush you know just keep experimenting adding stuff you know and sometimes that works out for me as well so that's it guys i hope this helped you guys or someone out there um who is facing this problem of wondering why your drawings look so washed out and all this and always remember it's your artwork so have as much fun as you want on the artwork there are no rules when it comes to drawing or art or anything just practice experiment with different tools and materials and everything if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe and also thank you guys for all all the guys who are supporting me on, on patreon um, i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next